In our next meeting, we're going to be focusing on doing the business. Now, remember, doing the business is everything that happens after the sale. Remember in probably the first meeting I talked about, you want to define the step that, that, that tells you when someone has become a client. What is the step when you really know that someone is no longer a prospect or a lead or whatever you want to call it, and they've actually become a client. So some people have contracts that get signed. Some people have verbal agreements or handshakes. But whatever that step is, everything up to that step is selling and everything after that step, that anything that is directly related to the client in the fulfillment of the promise that you made in the selling process is what we call doing the business. So if you log into your Touchstone account, let's just make sure that you have the correct sub function. So go to four key functions. It's going to be this bottom most key function. Might be called doing still, or maybe you've renamed it. Probably what you'll see in there is customer fulfillment and customer service. You might see operations. Operations, well, what that could mean a whole lot of things. That, in, that could include everything in running the business as well. So I like to distinguish this key function to everything that is directly related to the client. So if you haven't already uh, renamed your subfunctions, remember you just come up here, click on subfunctions, and either hit edit and drop down if it says operations drop down operations and put the new sub function title in there um, you might also have other sub functions this is not a key issue you could have you could have one sub function and just list everything underneath it but what i want you to think about are all of the processes that you do for your clients Okay, all of the processes that you that are directly related to the fulfillment of of delivering on that promise that you made to your clients. There is a link in the email to these processes, and you'll notice that uh, in the in the library we're using product or service design and innovation. These are very generic and I think probably not that relevant to you. Here again, as remember when I was talking about how there are, this is the one key function where you know the most about your business and I know the least. So I'm going to do my best to direct this. But if you could come up with process names, that would be great. Come up with process names, whatever you can think of. That would be great because what's going to happen is you're going to come up with probably work plan titles which are part of a process or you're going to come up with tasks that are part of a work plan or you're going to come up with process names that probably shouldn't be in this key function. If you have any questions, please reach out. We'll talk soon.